Gary, before we get to the NBA topics, I want to talk about how you've been adapting your life as a sports fan. It's time to find your game day beach presented by Corona Hard Seltzer. So you tell us, man, how are you finding your game day beach these days? So again, I think this goes back to like reaching a certain age that we've all pretty much reached. And it's not necessarily about getting to the game day beach, but more importantly, what you're bringing to the game day beach. Because let's be honest, we don't want to go anywhere. We just want to chill at the house. We want to be in comfy clothes, waistbands that stretch, no belts. Um, so you want to be comfortable, right? And what's comfortable? Eating food that you like. So my game day beach starts very, very early in the morning. And it's all about what I'm doing on the grill. More specifically, what I'm doing on the smoker. Oh, look, look at, at that. Fellas, oh. this is two racks of ribs, seasoned 48 hours with a little bit of a kimchi poppy special rub. I can't tell you about it tonight, but uh, this is right here. This is going on a 350 degree smoker for nine hours, low and slow. And I know what, what the question is gonna be, Gary, you a Korean dude who grew up in Denver. What the hell do you know about barbecue? I'm gonna tell you right now, I know nothing about barbecue, but the beautiful thing about barbecue is that it is very user-friendly. There's two steps, low and slow, and listen to this. I don't know if we have audio. Ah, uh, wow, that's impressive. It is, oh, oh. it is. And don't you worry, buddy. We have considered the possibility that you would learn to barbecue somewhere. Don't, don't like we we have we have we have entertained the possibility of your breadth of knowledge. I did I did spend two years in Texas, uh, in Houston, and in Dallas. So you know I was I was um I was introduced to the finer things, um in that regard. But uh, yeah, I like kicking it out here on the patio, doing stuff on the grill, smoking ribs, and then if you don't feel like eating ribs, well I got some queso for you. Um, and I knew specifically, well, I thought Mina was going to be here. Um, so I made a little bit of kimchi queso. Now, fellas, I don't oh. know if you've been introduced uh, to the Korean staple that is kimchi, basically fermented cabbage. Um, it's a love or hate thing, like Cam Newton in New England, which is what we sort of talked about before this show. <laughs> um, dice up a little bit of fermented cabbage, throw it in there, and trust me, it comes out well. Have you guys ever had kimchi? I have had yeah. kimchi, and I honestly thought of it like as being analogous to greens, which is something that I am very fond of myself. It seems like it is Korean greens. That's that's I've never heard it described <laughs> that way, but that's completely comparable. It can be standalone if you're in desperate times, but it's but it's best served as an accompaniment uh, to the greater meal. Dominique, have you ever had uh, kimchi? I have had kimchi and I've had greens and kimchi, I guess light greens is always best. Uh, a little bit aged, three day old greens is better than day one greens. I don't Tell know us, if you knew that or not. We keep evolving. This is great. This is great. <laughs> Loving it. Now, now uh, Gary, I got to ask you this because they brought this up and I was unaware of this, but uh -oh. we have been told that you are an obnoxious Boston fan for all sports. Is this true? Check your sources, guys. We're big, <laughs> we're big, <laughs> we're big J journos. Okay. I have to go into the description with this. I love Tom Brady. I've loved Tom Brady since 2001. Okay. This year, I've declared, and I declared even before he left, that I was going to take a bit of a sabbatical if he and Mookie Betts both left Boston because I didn't think it was going to happen. So I was just throwing it out there to fill content one day on a radio program. And then they left. And now because I said it on radio, I have to stick by it. So, yes, I love the Red Sox. I love Tom Brady. I want to see the Celtics do well. And I wish the Bruins advanced a little bit further. The only team that I hate because I split between Denver and Boston is the Broncos. I don't like the Broncos. But everything with Boston. Because I spent five years out there. I was embedded with the Red Sox. I was traveling. They gave me a World Series ring. I have to like them by way of that. Otherwise, they're going to come take the ring from me. <laughs> so hurtful. Hey, I, was a, I was a Bronco at one point. Jeez. Dominique, listen, we had this conversation, but we're going to bring the fans into this because I need, I need to tell the fans my position, my first job out of college. And I know you weren't with the Broncos at the time. I graduated in 2010. I worked at the CBS affiliate in Cheyenne, Wyoming, which was an hour north of Denver. I applied for my credentials and they just straight up told me no. And I said, we're, <laughs> we're a CB, we're a real TV station. These are our call letters. Look at this mic flag. We have the games on our, on our broadcast. Why can't I come down? And 
They still said no. So that was the nail in the coffin. I'm sorry. It had to be done. I'm learning so much hey, about you. I have so much more respect for you because you took a job in Cheyenne, Wyoming, just out of college. <laughs> so you really wanted to be a journalist. Respect, sir. Yeah, right. 